Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Obviously, I'm about to go into PT. I feel like I start all these videos with, I just either got back from PT or something, but obviously first thing of the day and today is an anomaly because we have gym PT. Gonna keep it simple today, just gonna do a quick day in the life here at Fort Leonard Wood. I think we're here in like week 15 for MP Bullock, so the end is near, but uh, not quite there yet. film in that gym which is pretty classic today was a rare occasion we got to work out at shia which is pretty much the same setup as cunningham except uh there's less equipment a little less busy but there's a lot of brass walking around that gym every single day is vastly different and so this is not obviously indicative of the average day you know here at mp bullock or at fort leonard wood or whatnot Picked a random day, and today we happen to be doing some mock drills, I think. We have some training with the military working dogs later, which I thought would be pretty cool to show you guys. So hopefully there's some good content and I can share with you guys what's going on today. So we just got back from the kennels, which was a very good time. Probably one of the better experiences here at Bullock. So now that I'm back in my room, I have to catch up on work for the day. So as you guys may or may not know, I work as a product manager in tech on the civilian side. And so obviously I'm a reserve officer. I'm here on orders for training. And so once I'm off active duty orders, I'll go back to my home unit and then I'll be on a reserve status as I was before coming to Fort Leonard Wood. If there is one piece of advice I could give people out there that are reserve or National Guard or whatnot, and you have a civilian job that isn't law enforcement or a government job that'll just pay you to be here and give you time off, um, it would be to not work during bowling. To put a long story short, I've pretty much been working flexed hours with my civilian job since I've been here, which means that I'm working after hours. So once we get out of class or training or whatever, we can't predict what time we're gonna get out, right? Because you're here on orders, your focus and your priority, 100% of the time is Bullock and that is it, right? So all the time outside of that, that maybe people are drinking or hanging out or doing whatever, I have to spend working and it's not great. So pretty much if you're in my situation and you just started a civilian job or if you just had a civilian job and they're not giving you paid leave, just take military leave and leave it at that. So the rest of my day is pretty much a few more meetings that I have for my civilian job. And then I'll be going to defect, grab some food for dinner and then clocking out pretty early tonight because every night I go to bed very early because every morning we wake up around 4.30. So I am driving back from the defect right now. I literally just made it right in time before they closed. 
I inhaled my food because I know they were trying to close up and get out of there because I respect their time. Having worked in the food and beverage industry, I understand. Again, this goes back to don't work during Bolick. I have to go back after this and upload the meeting notes and finish up this spreadsheet. So I have a very exciting evening ahead of me. So it is time for me to get back to work. So I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please leave a like and subscribe to do all those good things. And uh, until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.